Hello guys and welcome to this another video in this fish game tutorial series and today we are going to look, be looking at creating um, the end screen or let's say the restart and main menu buttons after the game is over let's say the game over screen so before creating the game over screen I want you all to watch my previous video on the UI series that is the main menu we just um, dealt with how to create main menus and how to uh, navigate from one menu to another so I'm going to I have already shown that shown you that in the previous video I, w I would ask you all to follow that video and then move to this video uh, and let's move in to the into creating game over screen so before creating a game over screen I want to remind you that a game over a screen should um, might be an entirely different screen or it might just be an overlay over the previous screen so that is it might be an entirely new UI component or it might be a new level so what we are doing here is instead of creating new level like we did for main menu I want to just embed uh, my game over screen into this menu into this level so that we do not have to load levels every time we want to restart and um, whatnot so I want to do what I want to do is I would like to create uh, put all these game over elements at one place so I am going to create an empty game object and I am going to call it game okay game over container so this is a game over container and inside the game over container if you zoom uh, zoom in to the scene menu what you see is the game over UI is there but what I want to do is I want to just position it somewhere like this so that all my game over icons uh, game over elements would just fit into it and I would also like to position these anchors properly so that they can scale evenly in all screens so inside the game uh, with the game over container selected in the hierarchy I want to right click and create a UI and I want to create a button so this button is inside now inside the game over container I want to place this button a bit above the center and I would like to position this anchors to this buttons and um, this button is called the main menu button so similarly I would like to create another UI, UI element which is also a button and this button is called okay let's call it a restart button this is a restart button I am just positioning the anchors correctly here and let's call it restart so this is a restart button and I would like to change the text inside the main menu button if you see it, there there is there is a text element and I would like to change the text to main menu and similar in the restart button I want to change the text to restart so this is simple things that we are doing here also to know to tell the player that the game is over I want to create a new UI and call it text and this text will be a game over text game over and just for attraction uh, I would like to just change the paragraph paragraph alignment to center and the both the alignments to center vertical and original alignments to center and also I want to change the color because white is not a good choice I think here so I'm going to change the color to uh, so black is not the choice the correct choice and I'm going to change to white sorry for my mistake there and I want to change the font size to maybe 25 so it looks good to me and let's just find the text and put it over here so we are just telling the users that the game is over and they can either restart or they can go to main menu so let's just position these anchors in the correct positions for the game over text and let's minimize the game over container now what what we can do is we can put this game over container as a single game object so now go to a scripts and inside the player movie script just above the start method what we are going to create do is we are creating a new 
public variable called menu container. So this is a game object, this takes game object and we are just saying public game object menu container. This is a pretty simple text that we are writing and what we want to do is we want to destroy, oh sorry, what we want to do is we want to menu container dot sit active so we are saying true so what this does is it sets it enables it, it enables the menu container and everything inside it it sets uh, it makes the menu container visible so what i am doing here is i don't want this game over container to always be seen always be seen like this because it is not the way you just want to see this is not uh, how the game works so i'm just hiding it by clicking uh, by on clicking by on ticking ticking i think i should say by on ticking this uh, uh, enable button thing here in the inspector panel i am just on ticking this and it is on invisible to the user now so inside here face where the player movie script is attached i want to just drag this game over container and uh, the game over container is here and if you see this should work if i die now let's okay if i die now what i can see is my game over screen is here my main menu screen is here and my restart button is here but the main problem that i am seeing is these buttons are not working so i would need to so we need to attach scripts them and I think uh, if you have already followed my last tutorial on the UI series, you must have already noted uh, what I am missing here. What I am missing here is there is no any events to the on click menu here. So what I am doing is I am just inside the scripts folder. What you can find is you can find a script called main menu. And inside the main menu, just drag this main menu script to the main menu game object to the main menu UI object or in the main menu UI object just click add component and click add component and select main menu you can do either of these things and I've already added the main menu script to the main menu game object so in the button script what I'm going to do is I am going to add a new event and these events are fired whenever the button user clicks on those buttons and as we already did so on the in the on click method here i want to just let, uh, make it bigger here the non game object text here so there is a small circular button there just click it and what i want to do you do is i want you to select a main so just type in main menu and there there should be a game object or what you can do is you can just drag this main menu to here and just select the function so, uh, so here is a no function text click this and inside the main menu what you can find is a click script click method sorry so in some main menu if i open it what you can see here is inside the click method what i am doing is scene manager dot load scene main menu so i am just uh, saying is what i am saying is load the main menu as we want it and similarly in the restart button we are going to add component type in restart and just click restart and what should we should also do here is we can we should add a new click event and just drag the, re, the restart button here and inside no function in the restart uh, uh, in the restart script find the click method so if i look at the restart script and open it what i am saying is scene manager dot load scene game scene what i am saying is just load the game scene what is the game scene game scene is this scene that we are positioning here and what you also check what you should also check is inside the build settings just you have to add these two thing two scenes just be sure to add them if you have not added them i will repeat it once again for you just drag this scene drag this main menu here and also drag the game scene here so the the scene that you would position above, above is the game is the scene that it will be loaded first so the main menu would be loaded first and the game scene would be a game scene would be loaded second so just 
across that and if we hit play what we can see is I can kill my enemies with these bullets and yes these bullets are killing all those enemies and the game over screen is here and if I click main menu I go to the main menu I can just hit play and again I am here and if I die here then I can hit restart and my game uh, restarts from the position uh, from the new level and what I am just noticing is my bullets are just looking dim and let me show you why so inside the prefabs in the bullet if I see the order in layer in the, in the sprite render component is set to zero just set that to one so that it is just above the backgrounds so if you see here in the background all these orders in layer is zero that means they are at the position at the layer zero so if you set everything to layer zero that means and um, unity makes its own calculation and any object might be positioned above them and normally it should be a um, game object that is added later but uh, sometimes uh, we do not see that behavior implemented so i would recommend you to position all those enemy fees all those hero fees and everything just in the order of layer one and this will not affect your gameplay this will work everything will work all way all fine and you can just uh, play the game well and thank you guys for watching this video and the fixed game series is over for now if you want to see more tutorials from me please subscribe to my channel like the video if you liked it if you disliked it uh, say me know let me know in the comments below what you what you didn't like it also i already told you some time ago that there is a big announcement coming to this channel so i would i will be back with a new uh, new announcement very soon thank you guys for supporting me uh, and watching this video uh, goodbye for now